guys, so we're going to take the bay window for a drive. Okay, so get the handbrake touches the gear knob, which is I find weird. Okay, you turn the key on and you're going to push a button and it starts. So let's let's give it a go. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, I've got to now work out. Shoot these gears. Okay, ignition on, push button. Start first time. Handbrake off. I'm trying to find first gear. That's not first gear. That's fair. Okay. You say it's got first gear. <laughs> <laughs> I push it. Is there, what must I do? Go away in second now? Oh, that's reverse. Ours has got enough power to put away in second gear. There we go. That's got power, eh? Sure. Guys, I feel like I'm driving a truck. Well, you are. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently if all else fails and you don't get it into first gear, uh, you got to go, uh, oh brakes, weird, oh, oh shit, oh, going on, I've got to work out the gears again. Uh, is that first gear? Second gear? Oh, that's third or something. Oh, wait there. Oh, that's reversed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's reverse! <laughs> oh, reverse! We might have to do a test in reverse! <laughs> this gearbox has got me beat! <laughs> I'm in reverse again! <laughs> I is a car coming so quick. I said, bitch, he's reverse. I'm going to do a test drive in reverse. No, no, I'm going to do a test drive in reverse. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying to work out the gears. Sorry, mom. I cry only yesterday, I need reverse. I don't know where. Oh, for racing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the test drive in reverse. There we go. Okay, so in reverse, guys. This vehicle goes very well. I don't know how it'll change. It's got four gears in reverse. Okay, so it drives very well in reverse. As you can see, I'm driving reverse. I'm going to try and get rusty hinges to tell me where. <laughs> we're doing a test drive in reverse. I'm not even getting it into second. Wait, maybe now. And you're getting close to the Austin, eh? No. There we go. I'm worried about the Austin now. No. no. I'm, just, I'm just worried about the Austin. Yeah. And just turn the wheel that way. So I don't hit the Austin. Yeah, okay. Okay, get into neutral. <laughs> Neutral's up. Just under the handbrake. Okay. Is that alright? There. Now yeah. I go up. Push up. To first. Okay, then second will be a little bit down towards you. So it comes at an angle. It's in the drawing. That's second there. Let's try now. There we go. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's got that angle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then where's first? I don't know, where my first <laughs> so, so, so guys, Jerry's <laughs> you know, driving a car you don't know. I'm going to do a U-turn and go the other way. Oh, let's go, oh, don't, 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 let's go, let's go. <laughs> what a jewel. <laughs> See if you can get to third. No, I don't even know where that is. It's like a spaghetti gearbox, box, David. Oh, <laughs> okay, four's pretty easy. Okay. Hey, it drives nice though. I'm driving, it's comfortable. So I got a little bit of a float to it almost. Ooh, brakes. Oh, okay. Oh, is that a push the brakes a little harder? This is not the beach bag, eh? No, it's not the beach bag. Okay, so there we go. Third. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, oh, the camera's bouncing around a little bit with all the vibration. Uh, I think that second we'll soon see. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I've yeah, given yeah. up on first gear because I don't know where first gear is. But 
there we go. Okay, nice and actually not bad. There we go. I'm into fourth. And it, the steering is like super sensitive and light, and it's quite amazing. Um, brakes are a little uh, typical VW, spongy. spongy a little bit. But there we go. Not bad. Okay, cool. Uh, so I can see why the guys made them into buckies because this is quite a lively motor for such a big vehicle. To be honest, it's a big vehicle. And, uh, yeah, and there, I mean, I'm comfortably putting away in second gear. Okay, and it's got a fair amount of acceleration too. So, it's, oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't even get there. Okay, there we are, in third now. Okay, that's cool. Brakes got a bit of squeal on them. Okay, we're gonna try and attempt a U-turn here. Sorry guys, you are bouncing around everywhere. Now uh, remember Just this. Wait, before you go, let me sort the people out. Uh, there we go. Okay. Let's hope I can reverse. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> just going to neutral. Then. Yeah, and no, I'm just waiting. Is the car coming? So yeah, we're having a jaw. I mean, guys, this is what we do for fun. Okay, so we would like you guys to subscribe and share and like and tell and see what crazy fools we can be when we have half a chance. I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's got me snake. Oh, I'm still in reverse. <laughs> I know there's no cars going. No, you're fine. Oh, now I'm trying to take away in fourth. That ain't gonna work. Let's try there. There we are. There, there we, we are. There we are. Off we go. Okay, cool. So when you get it going, she put, I'm quite impressed with the strength of this motor because this, like I said, it's a big body to pull. Um, but it's nice, I can imagine, well, I can see why the guys overseas, and I've seen them on their YouTube channels, guys, we also support you guys, is the guys the, who put um, Audi RS4 uh, V8s in the back of them and they cruise on the highways. I think those guys are now nuts, but I love watching them. So if the Germans are there, good at Morgan V. Gates, Gates good, Danke schön, sehr schöne Tag, sehr schöne Tag. So, Awesome, awesome, you guys do what you do, it's fantastic. This is just really cool what we do here, we enjoy it. So we support you all, support us, and enjoy it, because the camera's vibrating, cameraman's trying to hold it. New, new technology for us, we're trying to get equipment. Oh, I don't know, where am I? Oh, here we go. Oh dear, there, yeah, I think that's it. No, that's fourth or something. Hang on. Oh my days. Welcome back, Retro Car Dogs, and we've got another Perla for you. Combi Bucky or a Combi Van or a single cab pickup. It's called a Bay Window Highlight. I'm explaining to you. Bay Window being round, not a split window, okay. The indicator being up here being highlight. If an indicator was here, it was called a low light, and this is a 1967 model. It's a 1600. This Bucky or Van or single cab pickup whatever you guys call them i don't know okay this brian salvaged from a scrap heap it was just a rusted shell and as you can see he's done nothing because it's a workhorse it works it does all sorts of things it was smashed in the front end so this was all full of body putty completely full of body putty it's the low light front bumper because whoever had a front end smash here cut the whole front end off change the front end off or cut this off sorry cut here off so when they put it back the original bumper doesn't fit on you so you had to put the low light bumper on the front okay so if we walk around this side it's a really cool vehicle we're going to drive it just now okay it's been salvaged you can see the rust here look at this it was a rotted out box just lying in a scrapyard and he salvaged it and it's really cool so you can come here you pop these up here the sides drop down oh, actually, fact, let's see there we are let me do that Okay, this is the first time for me, so we see, here we are, so whole side drops down, how clever is this design, whole side drops down, so great accessibility, okay, put it back in here, whoop, too far, yeah, it hooks in just as simple as that, with this little lever here, pull it down, bang it in, and that's it, so nice little uh, vents, I think what they wanted to do with these things was a really good idea, it's a 1600, so let's pop on back here and I'll show you where the engine is. It sits in the back here, okay? So we lift this up and there's the engine, 1600. 
Okay, great accessibility and you can get in from the back side as well. Okay, put that cover down and you can come here around this side and you can drop the tailgate. If you want here, I can drop this whole thing open. But you pop this open and there's the engine there. So I think it's just awesome that Brian had the courage to salvage it out of a scrapyard. No mechanicals, there was nothing on it, just a shell. And he's got, a, he's got the motor, he's got the suspensions, he's got everything and put it in. And he uses it regularly as a work vehicle to run around and do a lot of their stuff around the home and dogs and all sorts of things. So I think without further ado, let's jump in and let's take her for a little spin. I've never been in one, never driven one, seen them obviously. So I think it's cool. Let, let's get the camera and let's jump in. Let's do it. Come on. So another feature that I just found out, okay, which I think is really cool. Not only have you got this beautiful big space at the back here to load, you've got something on the side here that Brian tells me is they call it the coffin box. So you pop it here and open it and check in there. Look at all the storage in there. So this thing had multiple places for storage and there's the fuel tank over there on the right, held on by a chain or I yeah, suppose that's uh, how it's supposed to be. But how cool is that? No, this had ample storage. My goodness, yeah, how cool is that? Give it a little close here. There we go, that's closed. And we're good to go. Okay, so from having a look at this vehicle, this is as rough as a goat's bum. Okay, it's really, it was a salvage vehicle, but it's cool, it's very truck-like. I mean, the steering wheel sitting like this. It reminds me when I drove a Bedford uh, truck in the Rhodesian days, they were called RLI trucks, I think five or 10 ton steering wheel up here. Very like this, nice handbrake. You've got to sort of twist it and push it in and your gear knob literally touches the, the, the handbrake over here. Okay, sort of starting to get that modern design uh, in terms of still, have, it's got the plastic dash here. The dials are a little different, sort of more modernized. I mean, I really don't know um, what more. Very functional. Uh, very, I, I don't know, I've never driven one yet. So what's weird as well, have a look at the pedals. You push them through the floor. They go through the floor. That's a, they go through the floor. How weird is that? Okay, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really was obviously made to be just a workhorse. Thrashed, abused, hurt, and all the rest of it. So. I really, really cool.